Welcome to the first ride of the summer season. It's, uh, it's actually the beginning of spring, but it's pretty warm weather. Uh, this time of year we get a lot of northwest wind, a lot of uh, blowing wind and rain as well as uh, beautiful clear patches. I think we're going to get wet tomorrow. This is the first trip of the uh, summer season as I said and uh, we've already had a couple of dramas. Look down at my dash here to see some cable ties. Yeah, I'll talk about that later. We only got blooming 20 k's down the road and they had to stop to do that. But anyway, stay with us. Uh, we've got two days of riding ahead of us and uh, this, we'll get into it after the introduction. Anyway, don't know if I mentioned but it's Friday afternoon. If you're from the South Island you probably know exactly where I am right now. We're heading south. Uh, we're going to stay at Stretch's uh, beach house at uh, Moraki. Place there for a couple of nights and do uh, some of the uh, secondary uh, highways and roads on, and Otago, Northern Otago. We're going out down down as far as Belkufa. But uh, just tonight, we already finished work early we, and uh, some of the boys are already there. So just the three of us just going to catch up, uh, meet everybody down at the pub at uh, Moraki tonight, which we should be there in about 40 minutes. All going well. So anyway, catch up with you uh, when we get to the pub. Saturday morning. Let's go. Good to see somebody waiting for me. Putting all my bits and pieces on the bike. Getting the cameras sorted out. Weather's looking pretty good right now, but I think we're going to come in for some rain a bit later on, so we're just going to play it by ear. Heading south out of Moraki, we're going to go to Port Chalmers, through Dunedin, go to the Tyree Mouth, swing back along the Tyree River back to on the State Highway 1, and then we'll decide, depending on the weather, whether we're going to go through to uh, Belclufa and up the Tuapeka River Mouth, and do a loop round to Lawrence, or whether we go from uh, the Tyree River straight across up to Middle March and heading back north towards the pig route. Anyway. Me and Shane, Shane on the old Brutale. Everyone else has taken off, but I'm sure we'll catch up. Shag point and that uh, in the, in the uh, distance there. I reckon the road looks pretty busy though, doesn't it, for a Saturday morning. Just turned off State Highway 1, we're uh, going around the coast road, drop us into, and eventually drop us into Port Chalmers near uh, Dunedin. So, forecast for the day is uh, gusty wind, and we're getting a little bit of wind now, but nothing major. Nothing like they said it's going to be, but, you know, it's only... Uh, nine o'clock so who knows what we're gonna get a bit later but uh, yeah it's, uh, I've only done this road once so the stretch showed me it about six months ago very nice bit of uh, secondary highway 
there's a few slumps and that when it gets up higher and uh, the road tightens up and uh, yep, can get a bit of undulations. It's not a road you can really hammer hard. Uh, yeah, but anyway, it's just nice, good relaxing uh, coastal ride. One of the things I really enjoy about riding these days is uh, riding with my mates, you know, the camaraderie. And uh, for me, it's a, it's, a, it's a big part of for me. Yeah, I love riding and, and I love going out for a quick burst by myself. And I just feel like just, just going out and just, you know. But uh, these group rides that we do, they're a little, they're a little core riding group that we have you know um, just to you know share those times together and all that you know uh, yes being a guy as you get older it's a bit like the old animals you know you look at the old buffalo and all that they all the old buffalo they all leave the herd and go and hang out together in these big old bachelor herds you know they they uh, kind of want to keep away from the uh, whoops the old car they just turned itself on uh, you know they just want to get out and hang out with blokes same as us and uh, you know they've got our little group here we've got Kim there uh, Richard all stretch out in front you know and uh, we all know each other's riding styles you know Rich Richard's he likes to just cruise along which is fine and then uh, Jeff, Jeff is, uh, you know, he, he likes to keep it moving, so he's 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 headed off a bit. We just told him where we're going, and and he'll stop and wait for us there. So, and I like to, I actually like to ride at the back, like I am at the moment, because I like to watch all my mates riding, and you know, it's a big part of it for me. I guess it's just, uh, you know, look at that road right there. Just, you know see your mates on it and, you know especially when there's a few of you and it ends up you look like a big train you know it's a train of bikes freaking on the road looks awesome so yeah for me big part hanging out with mates guy time and girls if they're into bikes doesn't really matter but uh, you know it's just that camaraderie and doing some exploring and stuff together anyway that's a bit of a that ramble hope it doesn't sound too weird if you uh, put down the comments you know like do you prefer riding in a group or you like prefer only riding by yourself I don't mean those big rides where those big group rides where guys are doing wheelies all around you and you don't know half the people there and it's just a freaking mess I don't care for those rides either. I've done a few and yeah, no. That's when you're more likely to get taken out by somebody. Well, as you can see, the weather's changed. We just got through uh, Dunedin out the other side, hit the coast, uh, turned off and, and uh, headed to the coast, following the coast down to the Tyree Mouth, big river down here. And uh, fortunately, as predicted, looks like uh, we're getting in, going to get a bit of weather. So I'm picking. We'll hit the uh, the mouth and and uh, maybe put on the wet weather gear. We'll just see what happens. The tarry mouth. Well, I suppose you can complain. Forecast was right. Exactly uh, what the ship is going to happen. But hey, uh, you know, we had a beautiful ride this morning. The weather was stunning this morning. Uh, yeah, we stopped here, get some weather gear on, went and put some fuel in, but uh, yeah, no fuel. So we're going to go down the road to Milton and grab.
scrape something there. Oh, I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but man, she's uh, got a lot of wind and uh, steady rain, so well, I think we're going to uh, cut the trip short. We're going to find a pub somewhere and park up for a while. So anyway, just heading down to Milton, try and get some gas there. And uh, we'll make a decision from there. Never mind, all fun and games, isn't it, you know?